Hi there! Welcome back to 7 Figure Mastery, the advanced series. In this module today, we will explore the basic fundamentals of Facebook advertising, one of the most vibrant platforms in the world of advertising. It is powerfully effective and cost effective as an advertising platform, in part due to its massive global audience of about 1.5 billion people and also its specific audience targeting. Let's get started. To kickstart your advertising journey, you would need a Facebook account, which I assume you do. The first step to start your campaign is to set up your Facebook business page. Some of you may notice that there are users who advertise their products or services using their individual accounts. However, regardless if you choose to advertise it under an official company name or individually, you would still need to set up an official business page to sync it with your ad account. Now set up an ad account for your business page. When you've set up your business page via Facebook, on the left-hand side of your page, you would notice a Promote button. This will direct you to the Facebook ad account. Upon accessing the account, you'll automatically see different campaign objectives listed by Facebook which range from awareness to conversion. The Ad Account functions to organize your advertisements according to your selected campaigns and their respective goals. There are three main categories in which the Facebook Ad Account uses to organize your ads. 1. Your campaign's name and objectives. 2. Your ad sets which includes targeting, budgeting, bidding, placement schedule. 3. Types of ads which include copy, images, media, destination. To generate a successful campaign, there is a systematic and effective method in organizing an ad account. When you start on a new campaign, you should have multiple ad sets separately under your campaign. Your different ad sets should also have one specific advertisement. The campaigns are organized in such a way so that you will have more control on the advertisements, which you wish to publish. Secondly, as stated earlier, your ad sets will have their own budgeting. When you separate your ad sets, you will get to manage your advertisements according to your budget. After you've organized your campaigns in your ads account, it's time for you to set up your Facebook Business Manager account. Some may think it's unnecessary to do this, but if you plan to expand your business, you'll find yourself managing multiple pages and advertisements for different products or services. This also means that you'll need to set up more than one account. This is when the Business Manager account comes into play. Your Business Manager functions to manage your multiple accounts. When you have multiple ads accounts, each separate account caters towards different clients or businesses that you serve. You pay for ads with different payment methods. One of the greatest advantages that you will obtain when you set up your Business Manager is that you're able to track the performance of your ads across the different ad accounts. A report will be generated on the assets and people that your business is responsible for. Setting your campaign objective. After setting up your Facebook business page, ad account and business manager accounts, your next step in creating a Facebook ad would be to select the most suitable campaign objective to generate traffic to your cause. What you need to realize is the most recent Facebook Ads account has 15 different campaign objectives for different and very specific purposes. Your advertising campaign objective is the action you would want your audience to take. Setting your campaign objective and selecting the most suitable one will determine the overall success of your advertisement. As our main objective is driving traffic towards your business, we will be focusing only on four campaign objectives, which are 1. Traffic, 2. Video views, 3. Lead generation, 4. Website conversions. Let's explore each in more detail. Traffic. With traffic as your objective, you're able to send people to your website from Facebook and increase the number of visits. You're also able to get people to download your app. There are various ads formats for you to choose from in order to advertise your ad, which ranges from photos to slideshows. Video views. With video views, you're able to show your prospective customers your product launches 
behind-the-scenes footage as well as testimonials to raise awareness as well as marketing your brand. Videos are proven to be a credible source in promoting your products or services. Lead Generation This campaign objective is very effective and useful as it functions to collect information from your prospective clients by asking them to fill out a form in the ad with their details. Their information may include their age, email addresses, as well as interests. Lead ads are useful to collect sign-ups for newsletters, price estimates, follow-up calls, and business information. Website Conversions Last but not least is Website Conversions. This campaign objective is to get your customers acting on and using your website. For instance, you can track conversions when a customer purchases a product from your website. To enable website conversion ads, you will need to use the Facebook Pixel for websites. Budget and Bidding Understanding Facebook ads cost is important so that you are able to work within your budget and maximize your return on investment, or ROI. As an advertiser, you will state how much you are willing to pay for an ad. You can manually adjust this on the pricing and bidding section. If you choose not to, Facebook will automatically calculate a bid for you within your budget and how long you choose to run your advertisement. Assuming that you are relatively new to the Facebook advertising scene, let me recommend a budget that works for you. Let's begin with $50 if you are opting to drive conversions for 5 days. Every day Facebook will take up to $10 per day in advertising your ad. The reason why we do not go beyond $50 is because you want to test your ad first before deciding to invest in a higher amount. Imagine if you start investing $100 for your ads and the results don't even match up to your advertising cost. This proves to be a waste of your investment. Hence, test it out first and scale it upwards when you've discovered the advert that works for your campaign objective. Factors that affect the cost of Facebook ads There are three factors which include your target audience, the quality of your ads, and the time of the year. First, let's discuss your target audience. The audience you choose will directly affect how much you're paying for your ads. That's because it is possible that other people are also targeting your audience. For instance, my company is selling handmade shoes. The audience that I am targeting is not going to have handmade shoes as their only interest. These customers also love baking, fishing, traveling, and fine dining. Multiple companies will target each of these traits uniquely. All of us are inevitably competing against each other to have an ad placed in front of this group of audience. This brings us to the second factor, which is the quality of your ad. The quality of your ad can cause your ad's cost to skyrocket or lower dramatically. There are two factors that you want to keep in mind when evaluating the quality of your ad which are the relevance score as well as the click-through rate. Your ad's relevance will be scored from 1 to 10 and is assessed based on how relevant your ads are to your target audience. You can obtain your ad's relevance score by heading to your ad's manager account where the ad's relevance tab is added to your ad's report. The higher your relevance score, the lower you'll pay for your ads. Your click-through rate, CTR, is the number of clicks divided by the number of impressions. A higher CTR will indicate a higher relevance, thus more value to your audience and lower cost for an ad to be advertised. Last but not least, the cost of your advertisement is dependent on the time of the year. There are peak times in the year when advertisers are all flocking to Facebook for their ads. During this period, the competition is higher, and as a result, you'll pay more. Black Friday and winter holidays are the most demanding and busiest times of the year, but they can still be worthwhile with the extra cost as you can attract more audience to your offer. The most important thing to note when aligning your budget for Facebook ads is to start small and test your ads out. You have to keep trying different variations of ads to get the right conversion for your target audience. When you found an ad that brings in high conversions, scale your budget higher for your ads. Remember, relevance is always key and this may directly affect your ad's cost.